Comparison shopping between phone brands is a lot simpler than comparing two different models from the same company, and that's especially true with the latest Pixel 6 series. Both the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro aren't just bigger and smaller versions of each other. There are a few noteworthy differences between the two. In this video, we're going to tell a detailed spec-by-spec -spec comparison to help you make your own purchasing decision. Now let's dive into the deep of this video. Google Pixel 6 vs. Pixel 6 Pro Hardware similarities The pair share several key specifications. Both have a Tensor chipset and 5G connectivity. The base storage and in-display fingerprint sensor are the same, and the pair have matching wide-angle and ultra-wide cameras. Wi-Fi 6e support Bluetooth 5.2 NFC eSIM Dual SIM Fast wire charging and reverse wireless charging are the same as well. But the phones differ in many other ways as much as their different names and $300 price differences suggest. To start, they're different sizes. The Pixel 6 is smaller than the Pixel 6 Pro, but not by a substantial margin. The difference is just a few millimeters in height and width, though the in-hand feel is a little more substantial than the small numbers would imply a couple millimeters in width makes a noticeable difference at these kinds of sizes. Either way, they are big and heavy phones. The Pixel 6's display has a lower resolution and refresh rate than that of the Pixel 6 Pro. Its 90HG 1080 Plus panel lags the Pro's 120HG 1440 Plus panel. In theory, that means the 6 Pro should look slightly sharper and handle scrolling and animations more smoothly. The 6 Pro also has an LTPO display, which offers additional power savings when it comes to adaptive refresh rate scaling that could otherwise make a dent in back. The screen on the Pixel 6 Pro has curved edges, a feature many folks dislike. If that's you, then you will be pleased to hear that the Pixel 6 sports a flat display. Both displays are that snazzy new Victus material, but only the Pixel 6 Pro has a Victus back. The Pixel 6 makes do with older Gorilla. Both phones charge at up to 30W via wired connection, but wirelessly they differ slightly. The Pixel 6 Pro supports 23W wireless charging, while the Pixel 6 stops out at 21W. Connectivity options between the two nearly identical. There are MM Wave and non-MM wave variants that affect 5G performance in certain circumstances, and both are outflanked by the best 5G phones currently available. Right now, basically nothing uses it. But in the future, ultra-wideband communications will be handy for applications like object trackers and potentially car keys. If you're the future-proofing sort, it's a feature to consider. The cameras also vary between the two models. While both share the same primary and ultra-wide-angle cameras, only the larger Pixel 6 Pro has a folded periscope-style telephoto camera for improved zoom performance. The 6 Pro also has a better, higher resolution, wider angle selfie camera, so you can squeeze more people into shots. Lastly, the Pixel 6 also has a little less RAM, 8GB VS, 12GB and a smaller maximum storage option, 256GB VS, 512GB compared with the Pixel 6. Which one is the best? We explain to you a little extra insight into the practical and technical differences between these two phones. The only practical feature difference that most people will observe between the two is the folded telephoto camera that's exclusive to the 6 Pro. They have a lot in common, and the slightly smaller and cheaper Pixel 6 is a better value over the 6 Pro and the better phone for most people to buy. If money is no object, or you really want a telephoto camera, the Pixel 6 Pro may not be a value king. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.